everybody, welcome back to the show. Thank you very much for tuning in to Ray Jensen Radio Podcast. Kalian tahu gak sih guys, di Thailand itu ada satu restoran yang award winning, penghargaannya banyak banget dari tahun 2015 sampai tahun 2018 mereka menempati peringkat satu di restoran terbaik di Asia. Sempat juga menempati peringkat empat di restoran terbaik dunia. Dan juga restoran ini punya dua Michelin star. Nah menariknya, Head chefnya adalah orang Indonesia, namanya Raido Anton. Dia udah kerja di restoran Gagan, atau sekarang restoran namanya Gagan Anan Restoran, itu 10 tahun. Nah, dia sempetin ke sini. Jadi dia ada pop-up di Jakarta kemarin, dan sempet ngobrol-ngobrol di podcast kita. Gimana sih ceritanya kenapa dia bisa akhirnya kerja di sana? Gimana dapat kerjanya, seleksinya kayak apa? Dan setelah 10 tahun, Jadi orang kepercayaan, salah satu chef terbaik di dunia itu gimana pengalamannya. Langsung saja kita dengerin. Seperti biasa, jangan lupa subscribe di Regensen Radio Podcast. Kita ada di Youtube, Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, dan juga Anchor App. For further updates, check Instagram kita di Regensen Radio. Without further ado, please welcome Rido Anton. Enjoy the show. Chef Raido Anton is in the house. Welcome to the show. Thank you, bro. Yeah, welcome. Pleasure, pleasure. Gila. Totally, really totally my pleasure. Uh, gimana? Udah berapa lama nggak pulang ke Indonesia? Terakhir kali tahun 2019. Hmm. I came back for for one day. For one day? Just for one day because it was my father's birthday. Okay. So I was like, I told my brothers, hey, it would be a nice thing to just surprise him. Mm. So I went back, ate dinner with him, slept. The next day, I took the first flight out. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Crazy. Three, three years, dah. Yeah. Three years, yeah. Jadi guys, buat yang belum pernah dengar Chef Raido Anton adalah head chef di salah satu restoran terbaik di Asia dan juga di dunia. Nama restorannya adalah Gagan. Yeah. Gagan restoran yang uh, chefnya itu Gagan Anan. Dia apa ya? Super chef lah, mega star. Yeah, he's a character. <laughs> he's a character. Our food is also a character. Yeah. yeah, konsepnya dari Gagan apa buat yang belum pernah uh, makan ke sana nih? Um, yeah, so the concept is basically on emojis. Emoji. Emojis, if you come to the restaurant, your menu is emojis. It's your emotion. Mm. And there is no right or wrong. So we give you like stickers and there's 25 courses. Okay. And then the first bite that you take, you pick the emojis, the emotion, what you feel when you eat that dish. So there is the tongue, there's okay. an explosion, there's okay. an apple. It's all from your iPhone. Uh-huh. So you just stick it on your menu. And then at the end of the night, you have the complete emojis, the whole 25 set. And that's how you feel about the food. Oh my God. It's quite Nyebrang. You know, oh, it's out of the box. Out of the box. Yeah. yeah. Gua pikir, gua pikir gagan itu like okay, molekular Indian cuisine gitu biasa kan? Okay. Well, some people can describe it like that, but mm. it's more like progressive. Mm. You know, when you listen to like music, there's progressive rock, there yeah. is metal rock, mm. but this is like keep going forward. Okay. Yeah. Background. Uh, seperti biasa, pertama kali kesini harus cerita backgroundnya. Where do okay. you start your your career start? This is very long. Yeah, we got uh, time. We got time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I started um, my first internship in the US, mm-hmm. which was in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. I was, I think, around let's say around 16, 17 years old, and mm-hmm. fresh out of college, okay. just got my diploma, mm-hmm. and then somebody came to the college. The sponsor for J1 visa. Nah. So J1 visa allows you to work for like one one whole year. Mm-hmm. And then I went there. Very lucky that I got picked. And I managed to save money. Because mm. the first time you work, you know, you you see the money like it's a lot of money. I'm busy with saying. Usually it's yeah. finished. But <laughs> I was like, you know, it's a lot of money. I'll save some. Mm. And at the end of my internship, I start to feel like, hey, I'm learning so much more, you know, and Really mm. like I want to deep, go deep into this culinary mm. world, you know. Mm. And I was like, where is the best spot to be? 
you have to go to Europe, right? Yeah. Europe is where like, you know, the legends yeah, are from. See. Yeah. So I told my dad, I was like, I will use my money to go there. But if it's not enough, can you please just help to like mm. further my studies? So it was like, yeah, go, go, go. So I went to Switzerland. I was studying in Lucerne for about one and a half year. Mm -hmm. So there's a mix of like studying for nine months. And then after that, you get an internship for nine months. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I spent almost two years there. Okay. And then after that, I went to, got my first official job at Gordon Ramsay Groups. Gordon Ramsay Group. Yeah. E? At the group. So the the first, group. Yeah, first, first one is that they asked me to go to London. And then it was the Savoy. Okay. And then after seven, uh, seven days for one week, they were opening in the Middle East. Mm. If you check in Qatar in Doha. Yeah. yeah. So I went there and I stayed there for like one and a half year also. So what is CDP. Okay. Demi. Demi. Demi chef. Demi and mm. then after that CDP. Mm -hmm. Pastry. Pastry. Yeah. Bro. Oh, you're a pastry guy. I'm a pastry dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I love pastry. What happened? Hampa bisa jadi head chef sekarang di Gagan. I think if if you're doing pastry, you get very calculative, no? On yeah. Like recipes yes. and that. And people, some people don't like it, mm. but I think I like it because it's very precise. Yeah. Yeah, kalau and savory, savory kan lebih dynamic. Savory is kan? more like you know your your touch, yeah. how much salt you put because mm. every grain of salt is a difference. Your your feel, you your know, feel, right? yeah. That's what makes you a great chef too, yeah. right? Yeah, like on the fly. Mm -hmm. right? But also, if you learn pastry, it gets you more precise mm. of doing it. Yes, very calculative. So, I could kind of like do both mm. because in Switzerland, which helped me a lot. That we learn both sides. Okay. So, yeah. Terus dari itu, Gordon Ramsay ke? Dari Gordon Ramsay, I got bored. Mm. Be like, oh man, I come every day, I get shouted at. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was in the I was in the meat and uh, fish section. So yeah. it was kind of like, it was very fun. Mm. You know, you learn like the French way of doing things, the British way, mm. British French like this. And it was pretty hardcore mm. because the, the chef would scream. Mm. And then when the guest comes out, and say goodbye to the chef, he would say like, did you enjoy the show? Like, <laughs> I was like, bro, man, we're working every day and you think this is a show, man? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like Hell's Kitchen show. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man. Oh, yeah. But I learned a lot from him, you know, yeah. it's not just because of, um, of the food. I learned him as a person also, mm. how to treat people, how not to treat people. Mm. I take the good things out of it. Yeah. Is he there, Gordon Ramsay? He came once only. Okay. Yeah. During like the pre-opening. Yeah. Yeah. Restaurant di seluruh dunia. You have to see him. He's like tall guy, very fit. Yeah. You feel the aura that's just <laughs> coming out of him. You know, like I'm going to Ramsey like that. But yeah. <laughs> very, very nice guy. Very mm. nice guy. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, I got bored. So I was like, I was looking at the list. Mm. That time they had the 50 best list, right? Yeah. And El Bulli was, you know, they were like, four times winner yeah until like 2011 i think they were closing mm. so until like, they Shit. close yeah. yeah i was like oh man i want to go and just touch there you know mm. again i saved some money so i want to yeah. spend it for my own investment like that so in the end i went to singapore mm -hmm. it was restaurant andre that Re just opened okay that they go to ramsey restaurant andre to touch work for free yeah to so touch yes yeah. and then there was very French, but it was kind of like a modern French, you know. Mm. Didn't he use the first the first uh, the first time that I'm actually doing only tasting menu? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Did he course meal? You the only course meal? Mm -hmm. Terus, I thought Andre Andre restaurant Andre had mm. Asian Asian touch too, no? Yeah, yeah. There's okay. Asian touch, but he's he's big on the French, no? Because yeah. he lived there. Mm. He speaks very fluent French, yeah. bro. In Singapore, right? In Singapore, yeah. Okay. But only for like a couple of months, like three months tops. Yeah, unpaid internship. Unpaid, you can, yeah. you cannot stay Singapore there forever. Singapore is like, oh my God. <laughs> expensive, you guys. Yeah, very expensive. I was staying with um, with one of my um, colleague from Gordon Ramsay also. He's Filipino. Mm -hmm. So we're like, let's go together. You know what? I want to do it too. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go. So we share a room. Mm. Singapore is so expensive. Yeah. So we had to share a room. We just sleep on the floor with the mattress there. Okay. I was like 
how old was I? Like 21? Mm. That time. 21 years yeah. old. I, I was I still have, yeah. I was uh, with the pastry chef of restaurant Andre when I was in the Roma. Jap- the Japanese guy? Yeah. Makito? Yeah, I think so. He was or, interning for a month in Noma. Is he the for one with, fun. The, uh, with a nice pouch on the side? I don't know. I don't remember. But he's, 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 a, he's the head pastry chef of restaurant Andre. And he, uh, we are the only two Asians in the group. I think I know which one. I think it's the um, the, Malay, uh, the Singaporean guy. Yeah. Now he, uh, Martin, I think. You're talking about Martin. Yeah. Oh, yes. Martin. Martin. Yeah. yeah. And we always wear uh, three clothes. Selalu yeah. tumpuk tiga because we're Asian in Copenhagen, yeah, right? Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold <laughs> Restaurant Andre. Terus yeah. next ke? So after three months, uh, I wanted to do something else. Mm. So I went to Tipling Club. Mm. Ryan Cliff. Yeah. Ryan Cliff was a big name that time because he just opened and he's doing also what people call molecular Gastronomy. So, yeah, yeah, he was doing sparrix. He was doing a different kind of meringue. Mm. He was cooking with liquid nitrogen. I was like, wow, this is going to be fun. You mm. know, this is new, something new that I never really touched before. Even in school that time, they don't teach you nothing. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Nothing. I asked one, uh, one of my chefs when I was studying in Paris, okay, yeah. can you teach me about molecular? Okay. No, no, this is only a trend. This will go away in three years. No, so you don't need to learn this. Because it came from the Spanish, no? Yeah, and the French uh, is very classical, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They fight, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I went there. Uh, Ryan Cliff was at the top of his game. Mm. The Daira Dempsey Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Nice bro, area. Very nice area. Mm. It's like a little forest. And then when you go inside, mm. it's just him and the restaurant. I spent also around yeah, two months there. Mm. Okay. Depending how much money I have left is the one time that I can spend. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Jadi guys, chef-chef kalau lagi belajar itu biasa begitu. Sama. Same like me. C- yeah. C- cari duit. Abis itu intern di mana? Unpaid internship. Yeah. Ya cukup buat berapa bulan ya di situ kita stay gitu kan. Yeah. Abis itu ya cari duit dulu. Gitu, exactly. Right? Because it's the greatest knowledge for yourself. No? Mm. Hmm. You invest in yourself. Yeah. yeah. Kenapa lu mau begitu sih? Let's talk about it for a minute. Kan sekarang kalau gue lihat lagi di media lagi ngetrend, oke, okay, oh chef-chef hmm. banyak yang pakai free labor gitu kan. Hmm. Ya yeah, right? yeah, kan? Tapi, I don't want to mention the restaurant. Yeah. yeah I Ta- heard about this, yeah. Tapi we, we don't mind at that time because we learn, right? Yeah. I think time has passed, you hmm. know, generations of Kind of like, you know, change, yeah. change. Education has changed as well. Yeah. And I think also when they go to school now, they pay a lot of money too, like more than what we did, you know? Mm. And I guess they are hungry for it and we don't mind no, not to get paid yeah. for that new knowledge that we want to learn. The experience, you know? The experience, yeah. just being there with everybody else there. But in Gaga, we, we're, we're doing studying also, internship, but we're paying. Okay. Yeah, we give them also a uh, housing. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, I spent. We have to adapt. Yeah, I spent. I don't know how many years. I mean, unpaid. If we apa dijumlahin gitu semua in total. Yeah. You know, kayak four months here, six months here. Yeah. You know. Tapi yeah, I I learn. I learn yeah, a lot. Yeah. The experience is invaluable. Yeah. That's gitu true. Loh. Yeah. Yeah. Kayak, exactly. I mean, with. Uh, as an Indonesian, for example, yeah. if you want to work at the best restaurants in the world, you know, it's hard. Sometimes you need to. Yeah, you need to sacrifice. Yeah, to sacrifice. The time. Yeah, yeah. Kan? yeah. Nanti kalau misalnya waktu di, if you done well in the yeah. internship, maybe they will offer you a job. Yeah, kan? and you start from there. Yeah, and yeah. then you know you have to start like young. Mm. Feed yourself when you're like young. Yeah, exactly. And then in the end, you will understand. You grow up, and then you'll see that it was a good choice. Yeah. Yeah. Next, Gagan. How does it start? Well, how how long is it? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah. Uh, at the end of 2012, beginning of 2013. So I ended up in Thailand, mm. right? I ended up in Thailand because my ex, mm. she was Thai. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I've been visiting Bangkok too. You know, it's a nice city to go with friends, mm. spend your time, vacation there. Great food. Great food. Mm. Not expensive. Mm. Uh, flights are not that expensive from Indonesia. Mm. 
you know, you can always go there anytime. It's only three hours flight. So I would go there. I'm quite familiar with the area and the food already. Um, that time my ex-girlfriend was from there. So I kind of just visit her and she wanted me to be there. Okay. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Mm. You know, so I start finding like work, jobs. At first I was trying to apply for like a high position in a hotel. Then I'm like, mm. I got the interview. They were like, yeah, I think you guys can do it. Blah, blah, blah. You'll be the junior sous chef or the sous chef of this um, outlet that they have. Mm. And I start to think, what am I doing? I don't want to be a hotel guy. Mm. I just want to. It's different. Yeah. I just want to be in the actual restaurant, restaurant. That's mm. it. And then I looked online, you know, there's like new restaurants coming up. Mm. I saw Gagan. Okay. The photo of him with the liquid nitrogen. I think it's still in Google with the mm. ladle and he has like dropping liquid. Oh, nitrogen I remember that picture. Like this. Yeah. He was still very young. I think he was like 32, yeah. 33 around that time. Nobody knows him at the time. No, not really, not really, not really. Mm. Because that time when he opened also, there was like the coup. Mm. The coup from the, uh, like a fight, like a like a war kind of thing from oh. the interior. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So Like a problem in Thailand. Yeah. Okay. After that, they had the flood. Ah. So he kind of like delayed his opening also. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I, I went there to see how the restaurant looks. I just walk in and I was like, hey, uh, is Mr. Gagan here? I would like to... Uh, send my job application to him and talk to him. As a pastry? As a pastry, yeah. Okay. As a pastry, still as a pastry. Yeah. yeah. Still as a pastry. And he, they, they said, the host was like, oh, he's not around, but he'll be back um, around, what time was it? Like around four. Mm -hmm. And I came at like freaking 11 a.m., bro. <laughs> <laughs> Five hours. I was like, man, okay, fine. So I'll walk around Bangkok, and then came back at around four and he was there. Mm. Perfect. So I sat with him. Um, I showed him my CV. He was like, oh, you want to apply? I said, yes. As what? As a, maybe your pastry, like pastry chef, if you need any help, I can be. And my girlfriend is here anyway. She's Thai. Mm. And he was like, okay, um, we don't really offer a position right now. We're full, but you can be our first, our first stodger. Wow. Yeah. So I was like, oh man, I don't want to be a stager, you know, because I do need to get paid. Because <laughs> I came from Singapore and I'm broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, let me see what I can do for you. Uh. Right. So I gave him my CV and then I, I left. The very next day, he, uh, he gave me a text. He said, um, do a tryout of pastry, you know, of desserts mm. next week. Okay. Get your ingredients list ready and send it to my head chef. Oh, he used to have okay. a head chef, yeah. yeah. So I came next week. I made about um, six desserts. Mm. Six desserts of different things. Um, I was really inspired by Tipling Club that time using liquid nitrogen and stuff. So I have desserts like um, eight textures of chocolate wow. and all this stuff, a little bit modern and combined with a little bit of classical, like a fruit terrine. Yeah. And I was giving the tasting to him and his partners and they liked it. Mm. And then when I was serving it, one of the partners said, Hey, can you cook hot food as well? Mm. And I was like, yes, but right now? Mm. I was like, yeah, right now, like on the fly. Shit. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. I went to the hot kitchen. I see what they have. They have scallops. I took it. I kind of make like a nice uh, risotto as well with mm. the scallops. Quite classical with yeah. a little bit of a um, let's sit in air on top. Nah. Slightly modern tarts into yeah. it. And then they tried it. They liked it. And they was like, okay, uh, we'll let you know tomorrow. Mm. So the next day was like, yeah, okay, cool, man. You're hired. Boom. Essa? Not as a pastry chef. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, my, my first uh, position was actually as a sous chef. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I was taking care of like learning mm. the Indian curries, the basic Indian food, you know, kaya di Indonesia kan ada sambal mm. and then the base curry from Indonesia with lemongrass and stuff. But there they don't have, they don't use lemongrass and stuff like that. Mm. It's totally different. It's a lot of dried powders like yeah. turmeric, dried yeah. chili powder and stuff like that. Yeah. And also making dishes for the desserts, the pastry team. Mm. Yeah. That time that the team was only like six or seven people. Six or seven people. Six or seven, yeah. And at that time begitu lu join, kan itu berarti Gagan belum lama buka gitu. 
Belum, 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 belum. He he was supposed to open 2010. Yeah. But because of the, the problem, coup, yeah. And then the flood. Mm. He opened 2000 like late 2011. Mm. Terus? Yeah, he was still serving a la carte. A la carte. Yeah, there was no tasting, bro. Oh, okay. There was no tasting yet. Terus is it kayak begitu buka? Gua selalu penasaran kalau mm. ada tamu yang apa kerja di restoran udah lama gitu. Terus restoran mm. populer, apalagi kayak Gagan. Waktu buka tuh langsung rame atau oh, kayak no, sepi-sepi gitu. So, I used to go home at like 9 p.m. I'm already home. Shit, sepi yeah. banget ya. Eh yeah, soalnya gue ngobrol sama Will Goldfarb. Yeah. Uh, the world best pastry chef tuh tahun yeah. ini gitu kan. Yeah. Dia cerita kayak waktu dia buka room for dessert. My God, sepi banget. Jadi waktu pandemi, gue tanya gimana sih waktu pandemi. Ya ini gue masih mending daripada lima tahun yang waktu awal. Lima tahun awal yeah, tuh gue gak ada tamu. It's gitu. true. It's not easy to open a, a restaurant, you y- know. Yang kayak begitu konsepnya. Yeah, ya? it seems easy now because yeah. you're talking about, let's say we talk about Gagan, he has a name already. Yeah, you know, so huge name, superstar. But imagine how he started, yeah. right? So we used to have only like 10 guests, 15 mm. guests. And I, it starts to increase because the food was good. Mm. Even though it was a la carte, yeah. people come back for that comfort, mm. right? And the the design of the house is beautiful, you know? So they come and then after that, Gagan was like, man, I'm sick of doing this a la carte. I really want to showcase my cuisine in yeah. a different way because he was also in El Bulli, right? He was in the Alicia Foundation, which is like the lab R&D. Okay. He was there. So he was doing... Um, Like a test kitchen, like hmm. that. Basically, test kitchen for El Bulli. Yeah. Dia dari dulu mau bikin course yeah. meal, tapi kayak satu dan lain jualannya ala yeah. Oke. Okay. Bangkok never had a tasting menu before. Wow. Yeah, not not until he came. Shit. Yeah. So the first tasting menu, we had three tasting menus because we weren't sure what is the budget that the people would pay. Okay. So we had three choices. One, I, I can't convert it in mm. Indonesian, but mm. it's... You can convert it later for yeah. the for the listeners. Yeah, the first tasting menu is a smaller one, the smallest one, which is like 1,500 baht, and then you have the second level, which is like more food. Mm. You pay about 2,300 baht. Mm. Satu baht berapa sih rupiah? I think, I think you have to come from 10 baht. 10 baht, I think, is around. 3,000 atau berapa? Oke, okay, eh, so wait, 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 one one bud, I think is 3,000. I'm not sure. Oke. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Yeah, we'll figure oh. out later. Yeah. And then the last one, the most expensive one, uh, was around 2,800. Hmm. It barely touched. I think it barely touched satu juta. Okay. Barely, barely. Maybe seven hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the most expensive. Like kayak tasting menu di sini lah. 700,000, yeah. Yeah, they think the most expensive, is- but people don't go for that. Yeah. Yeah, at the beginning, they just, they they were still ordering a la carte because they came back for it. Like, oh, this dish is so good. Mm. So they order it and he's trying to push the tasting because yeah. he wants to change yeah. the format, right? Mm. So what he did is that he made the dishes of a la carte much more expensive. Okay. <laughs> and then he has a reason for so- them to order it. Look, In yeah. the tasting, you have <laughs> the same dish, but then you have a couple more dish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh my God. Kapan mendapatkan posisi head chef? Uh, when the head chef left. Okay. He just like 2000, yeah, that, that same year on the 2013, around mm. the end of 2013. Okay. He went back for vacation mm. and he never came back. Oh, okay. So yeah, that kind of sucked. Mm. Terus lu langsung jadi itunya diangkat. Yeah, so I was lifted up as the head chef that time. So and I was only 23. My God, 23 going to 24, and it was quite big responsibility for me. But I think he trusted me, and hmm. I could kind of like learn more things from him as well during that time. Crazy, yeah. Since uh, dari kapan mulai meledak nih nama Gagan Anan? Since 2000, pertama kali 50 best entry berarti 2014, 15 lah ya, 15 lah 2015. 2015, yeah. abis itu langsung rame reservasi bla 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 bla. Sebelum itu kurang. Sebelum itu kurang. Terus kita, he wants to be in the list, hmm. the 50 best because I asked him, hey, we should go for um, 
Dulu kan ada mili mili guide ya. Mili guide, guide, yes, mili guide. And he was like, no, we're not gonna go for this. We're gonna go for this one, the 50 best. Mm. Let's try. Okay. So we we try to like improve our game, you know. Mm. Marketing is bigger. We yeah. push for everything. If there's any pop-ups that we can do, we go for it. Yeah. yeah. So we were doing that, and then we got into the list. We were happy, and then from there, the guest is like. Is it like 50, night and 50% day? Fifty more. Uh, like night and day, more. langsung wah oh, telepon reservasi langsung banyak. It's night and day. My God. Yeah. That's important, brother. The list. Yeah. 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 Tasting menu and yeah. Mm. After that, from three tasting menus, only two left, and finally just one tasting menu. Just one tasting yeah. menu. Yeah. One price, food cost can control easily. Showcase what's the best. Sekarang so, berarti udah full setiap hari dong pasti kan? Yeah. After that is always full. Yeah. After um, so it's been full every day for I since that time. Look, what since eight years now? Full, full every day is since 2016. Mm. Yeah. So we were doing 70 covers for every night, and then sometimes we do two turns. Okay. My God, 120 max lah, 120 max. How does it feel? Kayak soalnya you are in the unique position. Ya biasanya kalau kayak yeah. gue nih, uh-huh. gue stagiar gitu di Noma. Yeah. Atau gue waktu itu pernah kerja di Ki. They are in the list already. You know? Awardnya okay. kan udah banyak. Tapi you started from, bisa dibilang kayak waktu belum sepopular itu. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Terus when you got into that list, when the Michelin star awards you a star, yeah. how does it feel? Especially being the head chef. That's that's how I ended up 10 years already now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't really feel like. Um, I felt very busy, to be honest. <laughs> I just have to complete my work like day by day. <laughs> Focus, konsentrasi terus kan. Like we have to do this. The the fame, the fame of the restaurant was going higher and higher, and I have to keep running higher and higher just to keep up. Yeah. Keep up with the guest expectations, mm. how the food is, the concept of the restaurant. Yeah. I have no time to think like, oh man, I'm tired and this I just have to do it okay. because I've been there from the start. Mm. And of course, Gagan, you know, he's trying to like really push the boundary. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Wow. Yeah. My God. How is he as a boss? He's great. He's a great guy. Um, he's very open mm-hmm. to ideas. So let's see, like, I think some chefs are very close to just on his own ideas. Mm. He's not like that. He's more like a team player. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't get like pissed off every day. He's not like the French. I'm not trying to be. Yeah. Not that player. type of chef like you. Know. Yeah. Not sh- not shouting and stuff. Mm. He can shout, but. Of course. Not all the time. Yeah. yeah. He's great. He's a great guy. A great friend. I've been with him for so long. I, I would call him a great brother also. Mm. A mentor. He has um, different ideas than uh, most people are. Mm. Always outside the box. Let's take us uh, through the process of creating the crazy dishes at Gagan. I think the first time I see which one, <laughs> uh, yang benar-benar crazy ya, menurut gua. Yang yeah. lick, you lick the plate. Ah yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Itu menurut gua it's what do you smoke, man? Bisa <laughs> bisa bisa kepikiran itu kayak okay. no cutlery, apa just lick you know? Yeah yeah. So the main idea of the restaurant is that. Um, India, right? Yeah. Because India, if you ever guys, you go to India, everybody eats with their hands. Yeah. Di Indonesia juga kan? Yeah, di Indonesia uh, sebenarnya. Gua ke Aceh, gua ke beberapa rumah makan, kalau lu gak minta sendok garpu, ya gak, gak ditaruh. Gak dikasih kan? Yeah. yeah eat with your hands. Yeah. yeah, that's, some cultures are just meant to be like that. Yeah. And we shouldn't change it. It's fine. Mm. We should just teach other people mm. if they're comfortable to do that, right? Yeah. Um, that's one of the key points. So using your sense of touch, feel. So we were like, tongue. The tongue. Mm. You, have, you gotta use the tongue. So <laughs> he plays also instrument, which is the drums. And okay. I play guitar. So we kind of listen to mostly like um, alternative rock, like mm. Foo Fighters, rock and roll, Guns N' Roses, and mm. things like that. And then we came to a song that is played by Kiss. Mm. The band Kiss. Yeah. It's called Lick It Up. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. So lick so them. That's how it came about. It's from a song. Oh yeah. my god! So lick the plate, and we will play that song for you. And 
you lick the plate. Oh, you play the song as well? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there is no choice. There's no choice for you but lick the plate because the sound system we have is uh, it's very loud. Yeah. It must be so uh, popular than this. Yeah. Hmm. It's very popular. It's It has become the signature now. Terus kalau lagi mau proses bikin menunya, ya, Gagan ha- have how many courses? Right now we are offering 25 courses. 25 courses. Yeah, but these are like bites, yeah, bites and ideas small. and stuff. Itu yeah. prosesnya bisa makan waktu berapa lama, Chef? Um, kalau makan di sana ya kurang lebih two and a half, three hours lah ya. No, the process of you making. Of me making it? Of me, you making the, the whole menu, developing it. Okay, developing it. So the yogurt was gagan. Mm. And then I added a little touch of the um, the Lotus Pad now because it's a new restaurant now. And usually if you want to change dishes, which we try to change every like three to four months, but not everything, not the whole 25. We change like... Little, little by little. Little by little 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 like 10, 10 of them, mm. 10, 11 of them like that. Uh, it just came about ideas of seasonal ingredients. That's the first one. Mm. Because we get ingredients from Japan, that's mainly seafood. And then we get ingredients from uh, Europe. That's basically the vegetables, most of them, like truffles and some of the exquisite products like caviar and stuff. So we mm. play around with ingredients. And then after that, we think, okay, what do we do? So we search for like techniques of what we have done. Mm. You know, like dehydrating, Um, making foams, air, meringues, uh, sheets. Mm. So we choose which technique that we haven't implemented yet and what's missing in the menu. And we go from there. Yeah. And then also what is the idea behind it if we have a story because it needs to connect to India somehow. Okay. Yeah. The flavor needs to be a little bit off India because... Mm. Now when you come to Gagan, it's more like his food. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. So yeah, something like that. My God. Huge yeah. pressure, guys. Eh? Huge pressure, man. Karena kan, yeah, okay, let's face it. Si Gagan, he's the vigor, kan? He has the one the yeah. idea. Tapi kan operation ada di tangan lu, kan? Yeah. <laughs> kan operation, kesibukan kitchen-kitchen yeah. sama ML-ML-nya kan ada, ada di tangan lu, kan? Yeah, that's correct. So I have to take care of the kitchen. Sometimes also I would tell the service, hey, this is the one like that, mm. the menu. And then, of course, the kitchen is the kitchen is the heart, you know, mm. of the restaurant because you're course. selling that product. Yeah. Without the right team, I cannot get the right product out. Yeah. So yeah, very thankful. I have a very good team that listens to me, that follows instructions and doing things as what we first do until until the dish is out that we don't serve anymore. I get we change, look. yeah. Take us through a day, a day in uh, like a daily life. Yeah, a day in <laughs> uh, Rido's life. <laughs> I mean, the best chef of the one of the world's best restaurant, the my, head chef. My day is very simple. Um, at the old Gaga, it was a little bit different mm. when we were like super, like in the in our highest peak. Mm. That time, I had around thirty-five chefs. 35. 35 chefs, yeah. Most of them also was interning. Mm. That's right. Yeah. yeah. But I would go there. I would sit down with um, with the core team. Mm. And first is like, I need to know like how many stagers are coming because sometimes it's overlapped. Mm. And sometimes I see too many people in the kitchen. I don't like it. You know, yeah. like, who is this guy? Who is that guy? Like, <laughs> Come on, man. This is not just like a school, you know. We're doing actual business here. Exactly. You know, that's the one. Exactly. Uh, I would do that, um, and mostly I do the R and D. Mm. So I would make something, and then also I would have a couple of uh, guys with me, maybe like two or three chefs with me that can help me out to do the R and D as well. Mm. To think about what is it that Gagan really wants, mm. and making it similar to his idea, and bring India also the flavor together. Mm. I would do that and then I would do service between, so I come into work around 10 a.m. and then I would do service around 5.30 to 6. Sometimes we start a bit more late mm. and then finish off at around 11. Okay. Around 11.30, yeah. Not bad. Not bad, yeah. Crazy. Pretty good. My God. 
Yeah, and then that we have like two kinds of dining. You know, the one that you sit on a table with your partner or with your family, and then we have another one which is the chef's table. Mm. That is like you sit to a stranger, but then you are enjoying the view of the kitchen and the chef's explaining. You know. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw. So I would video. be at the uh, at the chef's table that I have to explain all the dishes and I have to make sure that the customer gets the right information. Mm. So I have to train that on myself also. Okay. Yeah. Which is the hardest part of your job? Keeping up with Dagan. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you But, mean? Keeping up with him, he's like he's like a butterfly, bro. Mm. It's like he goes to a flower here, and after that he goes <laughs> to another flower there, and I have to like keep going, you know, because uh. his mind would just never stop on like ideas, which I like, mm. you know, and try to realize that idea that he wants to create for him, yeah, mm -hmm. for the restaurant. Wow, yeah, that's what keeps me going because every I've been with him for 10 years, and then mm. every year. Is always a new challenge, a new challenge, a new challenge. I like challenges. Hmm. So yeah. Nice. Well, yeah. Congratulations for your success. No? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. Kema kemarin kan baru pop up. Yeah. Yeah. At Botanica. Finally. So you said to me, jadi guys, uh, Chef Raido bilang ini the first time nih gua masak di sana. <laughs> yeah, first time. Um, 15 courses with things that I also want to serve, you yeah. know. It, it it was good. Uh, my, my favorite roots. was the the dumpling. I love the dumpling. The dumpling is good. Oh, dumpling is good. Black garlic dumpling. Yes. Yeah. The uh, the beetroot and the foie gras was super nice. Nice. Yeah. You know, there's not a lot of people that actually eat some um, foie gras here. Karena right? why? I think it's the the smell. I think the smell. Yeah. Soalnya nggak banyak yang jeroan tuh nggak banyak. Oke, okay. yang yang the inerts. Ya, selalu aja oh, gua enggak makan jeruan itu gua sering sering banget temuin. Oke. Okay. Di restoran, tapi kalau European restaurant mah serve yeah. I think. I don't I don't really eat like intestine and stuff, but liver I can eat. Yeah. So, yeah. Nah, ya, terus the the pastry was amazing, the jackfruit. Nah, itu dia. Yeah, uh, jarang banget loh bawa nangka ke Yeah, modern setting gitu. It's my favorite fruit um, the Southeast Asia. Hmm. Jackfruit. Yeah. Fruit. Very nice. Nangka, nangka digoreng juga enak. Yo, diapain oh. juga enak. Pake gula kelapa like gitu. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love, I love. It. Uh, ada plan kah one day for you to come back and open something up yeah. here, maybe? Yeah, I would love to. Hmm? I I've seen um, I've met people here, hmm. and I've seen how the kitchen works here. Ingredient wise, maybe I have to look further. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our yeah. country Challenges. is so big. I'm very sure there's always good products. We just have to go there, hmm. source it, and bring it to us. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, similar to Thailand, you guys. Think kalau yang local local lagi. Yeah, I think it's similar to Thailand, but Indonesia is way bigger, yeah. so you really need to take time. You know, mm -hmm. to travel and all that. But yeah, I I would love to. Hmm. I would love to. I think you will see me again next year doing another pop up. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. My God. Yeah. Cannot wait. And then the guys in the kitchen, man. The guys in the kitchen are they're like. Workhorse, bro. Yeah, I mean, uh, pop up di Botanica. Shout out to Chef Vito. Yeah, shout out to Chef Vito. Chef Vito Him trained, and his trained team. them re really well. Really event. well. Mm. They're mm. so good. Just how's your the, your impression about the culinary scene here? Nih, kan masih uh, masih jauh lah ya kalau dari dibandingin sama Bangkok ya. It's not that far, but we can always like. Teach the customers again something new, mm. and hopefully they would adapt to it with open mind. Mm. What we need is an open mind, you know. Give us the opportunity to create our art, mm. because Indonesians we like art. Mm. We're good in music. I I was in the Botanica and they they had the live band. No, I was like, mm. bro, this this girl or this guy, you know, they get, they have like different bands. They're freaking good. They're mm. They sing really good. Do they have like an album or something? Like, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of talents, you know? We yeah. love art. So art, also food, you know, yeah. is the same. Culinary arts. So give us that chance and you'll be surprised. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes. But I think it's changing for the better. It's changing. Slowly. It's growing. It's yeah. growing. Yeah. I mean, you wanting to come back here is a statement in itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kan? Kalau dulu enggak dong. I mean, last time was different. Yeah, last time was different. Kalau misalnya di Bangkok, yang 
kan sekarang banyak banget restoran-restoran yang award winning restaurant, right? Ya yeah, Bangkok is too many now. Iya, yeah. yeah, ada Gan, ada apa Ga. Ada Ga, ada Suri. Ada Suri. Now they have the the new chef's table hmm? by Chef Theory something. Yeah. A lot of Michelin stars and all that. Yeah. Di restoran-restoran seperti itu, mm-hmm. apa itu populer uh, di kalangan lokal juga apa only for tourists? Both. Okay. Okay, like um, say you're cooking Thai food, right? Mm. Uh, let's say. Apa ga ya? Ga yang Thai food ya? Ga is, is Indian. Oh, oh ga is Indian. Yeah, 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 yang ada di chef table apa juga ya? Yang ada chef table juga. So is a woman, chef B. Oh, paste. Okay, paste. Paste is Thai. So yeah, if you take like paste, mm. I mean local people would come also. Okay. If you go to like Sorn, Mm. Sorn is a two star. Yeah. They have very good reviews. The mm. house is beautiful. Um, they're being booked by a lot of locals. Okay. Yeah. And called the Gagan, tourists mainly. Gagan also, now we're approaching more to local mm. because in the pandemic, you will learn a lot. That yeah. The locals are actually really your community that can hold. It's really you. important. It's very important. But we are mostly tourists mm. because of his name, you know, his fame. So, yeah. Yeah. Next, there is yeah. a support. There's a big support from the Ministry of Tourism What do you in mean? Thailand. Oh yeah, for the restaurants for right. the uh, food and beverage yeah, industry. Yeah, food is their culture too. No, like it's every- everyone's culture. Yeah, it's yeah. everyone's culture. Yeah, mm. I mean, it's, like di sini aja belum. Like the street food there is a little bit like you know more, 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 um, more sceneries there. Like they have a special. area for that and they will just showcase the entire thing mm. we should have something that so like exactly i yeah. mean my friends are uh my friends are in one of the team that uh their pr- main project is to bring the 50 best here oh yeah they yeah. should they because, should do a ceremony here because the 50 best uh will not go to a country just by themselves You yeah, need to no. request. You need to request. Yeah, you 100%. need to request. And yeah. we, we request, they have to pay the license, which is not uh, not cheap. It's Tapi not cheap. F- for government, budget money is not that expensive as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're planning to, the request is to do the 50 best Asia. Di Jakarta. Di Jakarta. Wow. 50 best bar di Bali. Whoa! The request. Yeah. Tapi, yeah it, it got, well, it, which year are you guys targeting? Ah, uh, in two years Still, maybe. In two. Okay. Tapi, the, our first request got rejected by the government. Oh, uh, so yeah, we need we need the government support. Yeah, because it's they say it's um, it's still niche, because 50 best only uh, do like. Okay, fine dining restaurant. Okay. Di, di Indo kan taunya apa apa yang restoran mahal fine dining, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still niche, but they don't for me they don't see yet the potential that it affects uh tourism But as well. You Real. see the list, you see the list also there is in in Bangkok mm. the 50 best list of Asia, right? Yeah. There's a lot of restaurants from Bangkok. Mm. Like even um Jfai. Yeah. Jfai is a street hawker. Mm. And she's in the list. Yeah. You know, we could do the same. We have a lot. Oh, we have. We have we a have. lot, yeah. Waktu itu ke Bangkok cuma berapa jam doang sih. Aku mau ke Jayfai. Ah, I want to go to Jayfai. Oh, you need to wait, <laughs> to wait uh, two months for that, bro. She has a long queue, man. <laughs> You've been there? I've been there. I've been there two times. Yeah. Uh, you have the the crab omelet, yeah. which everyone orders. And it's not cheap, bro. It's street is it, hawker expensive. Is it that good? It's, I know. it's that good because... Okay, the food is good. It's very delicious, but the the most amazing thing is that she's like close to like 70. Yeah. And she's cooking every dish by herself. Crazy. Nenene guys, nenene. Eh, dan dananya menor gitu terus pakai kacamata ski. Yeah, still using the masa pakai wok. The wok with the uh, charcoal, mm. you know, and her hands are like well, her veins puffing and she's just non-stop She starts from like, I think three o'clock or two o'clock all the way until finishing like 10, 10.30. Really? She got a Michelin as well, right? She has a Michelin. She's really? in the 50 best. Yes. Uh, the 
Jakarta aja deh, nggak usah kota-kota lain Indonesia banyak dan besar banget di ya, Jakarta pasti. aja. Nenek-nenek yang udah umur 70-an punya stall food enak banyak juga banyak, gitu. But banyak. we need the support for them to come here. Ya. Yeah. Right? Enggak yeah. bisa sendirian doang. We need to showcase. Hmm. Yes. We need the government. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Talking about the government, uh, weed is legal in oh yeah in, yeah in in Thai or in Bangkok apa in in the whole of Thailand in the whole of Thailand yeah. eh? oh great man I Good. just came back I came back from Tomorrowland mm. which which was in Belgium mm. it's a very big event you guys you cook there we cook there yes mm. uh, me Gagan the team uh, three weekends that means one weekend is three days mm. you know, Friday Saturday and Sunday the it's a taste of the world. Apa. Yeah, taste yeah, of I the cook world. there. Yeah. You cook there too? Yeah, bl- bl- opposite the main stage, bro. Yeah, it's, I, it's I cook insane. there during the first Taste of the World event. I don't know how I got invited. Nice. But, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Sayangnya itu gua nggak ngupload banyak sih itu dulu. Kalau sekarang kan apa apa diupload yes. kan. So yeah, dulu di invite juga. It's fun there, right? It's super fun there. Hmm. And then I came back to Thailand because, of course, my second home is there. Hmm. And I was walking out at night, like bar hopping a little bit mm. in this area called Tonglo. Mm. Tonglo is like this Japanese area, which has like few little bars and some of the bars are like hidden. Yeah. It's a very nice area you guys should visit. Um, and then I see like a van. Now this van, like a Volkswagen van, the old school one, usually sells cocktails mm. by the roadside. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this guy must be selling cocktails. So I just passed by it and I looked. This is not cocktails, mm. you know, they have like small little uh, medicinal tins, you know, okay. the plastic one that you can twist open, like yeah. seven of them. And then I looked up the the board. Those are actually buds, okay. weed buds. <laughs> I was like, wow, it's already like this, like so quickly, like this is insane. They've so, been planting it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't like um it wasn't Thai uh it wasn't Thai weed, it wasn't yeah. Thai marijuana. It yeah. was imported. Important. important yeah. Yeah. They had like strains from like California and stuff like that. So I was mm. very amazed, like, is this like legal legal to mm. sell, you know? So what I heard is that the government is a little little bit like uh confused because they haven't finalized the whole rule. <laughs> okay. You know? Yeah. So people- But everybody's- Yeah, telling. so people is using it for like making brownies. Mm. You know, you can you can get brownies from Instagram sent to you. Yeah, you can, yeah. you can get a messenger to send to your home. Mm, we're, we're not sure if it's legal, but people are already doing businesses like this. <laughs> I'm like, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah. And, And also it's a different law, right? Of buying or selling. Mm. And it's a different law also if you have a plant in mm. your home, Yeah, you know? And they're not sure, man. They're not sure, but it's there. Yeah, but everyone, I see in the Instagram, people just upload, oh, yeah. yeah. It's fin- finally grown. Yeah, my it's insane. Weed. <laughs> anyway, I, I was, when I was in uh, Belgium, yeah. I went to Netherlands, right? Yeah. I was like, you know what? Oh, weed is legal in Thailand, awesome. So I buy uh, seeds yeah. from Netherlands. I was yeah. like, you know, maybe I'll grow like one or two plants and see. I never grown before, right? Yeah. So I brought like a uh, hybrid seed and mm. I'm just gonna try to plant there and see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I'm not sure about the law, but- <laughs> Welcome to visit you. <laughs> but be careful guys, because if you take a vacation to the Thailand and you're planning to come back here, Hopefully you don't smuggle anything. Yeah, no, don't. In the airport, there are dogs. Yeah. Especially from the flight from Bangkok mm. to Jakarta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially. Oh, don't don't try anything stupid lah. Yes. Don't do try not, anything, do not, anything, do not try anything it. stupid Please here. Man. Uh, so are you planning to put the weed in the menu soon? We have an R&D on that yet, but... Mm. Let's see how legal it is mm. if we can use it to serve the customers. Okay. The only time that I ever had something served in an omakase mm. in LA, mm. they served the leaf, the yeah. marijuana leaf, and they tempura it. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, we have some areas that uses uh, that plant in a yeah good yeah. culture in yeah. Indonesia. Oh, yes. for real? Yeah. Cannot talk either. Cannot talk here, bro. Ache. Cannot talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a great okay. time. 
Ache is wonderful. I I send. I will give you some uh, fermented ingredients that nice. can only be found. Yeah. Take it to. I would love to explore. Take like it to the restaurant and taste some of it, maybe. You know. Uh. So, next plan. What do you do after ten um, years? After ten years, I mean, I gotta see. Let's see. I mean, next year, hopefully, do another pop up here. Mm. I'm gonna take it slow. I'm not. I'm not a person who yeah. rush things. No rush. No, no rush. rush yeah. yeah. So yeah, next year I'll try to do another pop up, hopefully with Chef Vito. Yeah. Uh, apparently he's opening a new restaurant next yeah. year. Yeah. Yes. So shout out to him. And hopefully I can be one of the first ones that he invites for his pop up. Yeah. You know. And then we go from there again, and we'll do another podcast from there. Yes. <laughs> Look at the market first. You yeah. Know? Look yeah. at the market, and. Yeah, I mean, uh, here in Indonesia, we have uh, well, a great community of chefs. Yeah, a lot. We, a are, lot. we are all uh, basically friends, and, and we some are ready of us to like support. abroad also. Again, yeah, 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 ready to support you. Thank so you. don't worry about that part. You know, ingredients we can help oh. source as well. Thanks. You know? Thank you, bro. Well. Thank you very much for uh, coming to the welcome. show. Most welcome. This was due how many years? Oh already? my God. Yes. <laughs> the first. You know, I first heard about you. Uh, one of my friends mentioned, Hey, you know yeah. Gagan, right? Yeah, of course. Like, you know the head chef in Toro, Indo. Like, what? Really? Like, <laughs> let me Google. Oh, yes. Chef Raido Andon. Much success for your future projects and yeah, we'll see you next year. Appreciate it. We'll see you next year here again. Yeah, hopefully at that time we got the studio, yeah, guys. Well, <laughs> it's a nice room. studio. I love it. <laughs> In the kitchen studio is the best. <laughs> yes. Literally kitchen studio. Really. So uh, please say hi to Gagan. I will, yeah. Yeah, I will. Please I will say definitely. hi. Come to Bangkok. Of course. Please. I promise I'll I will show you come. around and hopefully you can eat inside the restaurant as well. Yeah. Oh. At the chef's table. One of my goal. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Guys, thank you very much buat yang udah dengerin. Look at here, Chef. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you very much buat yang udah dengerin dan yang udah nonton Ray Jensen Radio Podcast bersama Chef Raido Anton dari Restoran Gagan. Jangan lupa subscribe. Kita ada di YouTube di Ray Jensen Radio. Boleh klik the bell icon and like if you like the video. Comment juga and share it to your friends. Selain itu, kita ada di Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast dan juga Anchor app. For further updates, check out Instagram kita di Ray Jensen Radio. Yang mau ngobrol sama Chef Raido Anton, boleh ke Instagram di What's your Instagram, brother? Uh, Raido Anton 89. Raido Anton 89. Okay, guys, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Chef. Thank you.